What's up everyone, welcome back to Cosmocraft. Yes, it's time for it. Yeah, uh, it was hinted in the end of the last episode. So let's just go. I don't want to waste any more time. Um, hope f you probably already know what it is if you watched the last episode. But, um, yeah, so let's just get into it. Monta uh, here's a time lapse with it's me and Aqua. So let's go see it. Okay, and this is done. Um, well, yeah, so it's pretty big, and it's just one of those usual ones with two layers of magma, and then you stand in the middle and stuff like that. But, um, I AFK'd here for a couple hours, and, um, as you can see, my levels is at 422, and, um, the result, with, like, in gold, is in this chest right underneath, underneath me, so, like, yeah, let's take a look at this. Ready? Three? Two, one. Yes, that's a bit of a lot of gold. That's like two, three, four, five, five, four, forty-five stacks plus all of this, which is another one, two, three, four, five. F so four, fifty stacks of gold ingots. This I just turned in this, in, this into ingots because I wasn't, I didn't want to waste too much. Let me just make sure this can fit. One, two, three, four, four, five. Yeah, that can fit. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, if you go down here, I'll show you some of the other stuff of this gold farm, which is just there we go. It's just in here. Um. Yeah. So over here is the AFK platform. You go in here. And they get killed in there. I'll show you in a second, but the this down here is like this uh, the overflow. I don't know. Maybe it goes too fast. I've never seen it go too fast yet. So basically, this dropper shoots the items down into a sorting system at the bottom. I'll show you that later, right after I showcase this, which will need a couple arrows and a bow. So let's go ahead and do this. And get up here. Make sure at full health, just in case. You never know. And shoot one of them. And then they'll go all get mad, and then they'll come in pathfinding because this is the closest place. So they'll pathfind all the way down to here, and uh, they'll start dying in the mine carts that I set up down there. And yes, as you saw, we collected some XP. Okay, so that's the whole system, and uh, you just sit here and then collect the XP and more gold. And down here, as you can see, maybe, maybe not, maybe. Oh, it's all in that chest. Uh, I've got to. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Now it should start working. There we go, see, items are coming in here, it's getting uh, thrown down there. I'll just chuck one item here just so it will load for a while. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And I'll just jump down here and hop in the scaffolding. As you see down here, they were the one who fell. Um, the items are collected in those hoppers. And um, yeah, sorted into these assorted chests. Hang on. Up in that. Yep, there you go. So it first fills up this one, because this one is the one. I made two chests for nuggets and stuff. And uh, over here is any extra stuff that doesn't fit in the 
or sorting system, there should be one flash in here, but it seems to be filling up with other stuff. Let's check. Yeah, that's rotten flesh, it's just some other stuff. Okay, so any items like swords that don't get dropped down will, uh, yeah, get sorted, and I'm pretty sure I need to go back up there to wait until all the stuff is gone. Well, that might be all the stuff, I don't know, because I only have okay for two seconds. But if, say, if we chuck, let's go down and grab some stuff. There we go, if we chuck some of, like, um, uh, oh my god. Uh, if I can get up here, that'd be useful. There we go. If we chuck some like gold swords in here, we'll see just in a second it will be spat out here and burnt because we don't need the gold swords. But say, so, uh, how many? Four there. If we go up here again and chuck an ingot into here. You should see it sorts into here. Five, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So now we have sorted stuff. Rotten flesh is here, yes, it will fill up. If it does fill up, we'll just leave it in case we need it for some reason. Maybe we'll get a dog in the future or something. But, um, yeah, if, if it's full, if any of these chests are full, um, all the stuff will be sent into this fire there just to be burnt. And, uh, yeah, so that's the thing. Um, but now. I know in a couple episodes earlier I said I'd design an iron farm, the, the interior of the iron farm and maybe the entrance as well. So let's just head over there and do that. And uh, oh, he's got a line. Maybe we'll chat to him as well. Yeah, so let's go head back to the base. Okay, so here we are back at the base. It is just, uh, I don't, it hasn't changed much since last episode. It's just um, carrot instead of potato because now, oh, it's been working. Um, just so we can have golden carrots instead. So let me just take some of these and head down underground here to my storage system. Um, I don't think I have any space left. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's plenty of space in here. I'll chuck some gold blocks there. Maybe I'll make some ingot space as well. This will be probably in the bulk storage. And, uh, yeah. Put this back into blocks, because we have more space for blocks. Okay, let's just chuck it all in here. Keep that 27 so we can craft some golden carrots. Um, bam. Take this into that. Golden carrots. Oopsies. Where's the other? Carrots. Bam, and more golden carrots. And uh, we're still missing some. Bam. There we go. Into blocks. Bam, bam. Oh, wait, let me just take some of these. Turn them into ingots, turn them into nuggets, and then go over here. We'll have some nugget storage as well. There we go. Okay, so that's good. Now we can switch over from potatoes to golden carrots, and that is just the best food source, in my opinion. Um, it's just really good because, like, everything's just cool. Anyway. Let's head over to the iron farm with obviously some materials. Uh, we can't go without materials, that would be bad. Probably some stone bricks. Just like usual. Well, I'm running low on stone. Did I put it all in here? Um, yeah, I'll take this as well. Why not? Some cobblestone and some... What else do we have? More, oh, there's heaps of stone here. Um, there's one more thing I need, which is jungle leaves, which I did not have. Let's go and get some of that. Okay, let's head over to this iron farm. And build this interior. And now, as I was... As I'm building this interior, um, let's head over to me in the past. Past me. 
and take a look at what I've been I was doing with Aqua the other day. Not gold farm related. He needed some help with some stuff and as you can see my image is slightly different because I've been helping with him with that stuff. Um, but yeah let's just head over there and see that while I'm doing this. Oh my god did you see that? That was insane. Uh, I'm at the moss farm. Let's see this work or not work or maybe work. I didn't fill it up with bone meal but it still doesn't work. Oh, okay, so let's see the... Is there bone meal in here? No. No, I, I just need to see it, so to see what's... Is this furnace? Yeah. I feel everything right. Right. Okay, let's see it. Let's... I need to get some bone. Dude, it doesn't work because the redstone tick gets in the lag. Um, pistons don't. I'm pretty sure pistons don't extend with that length of a signal. Do you know how to extend it? Um, you might have to length it. Add a repeater there. Here, I have a repeater from working on the gold farm. So if we add a repeater here, there we go. Yeah, you just you just need to. But this piston doesn't activate. Uh, hang on. Shouldn't the repeater? The first one doesn't. Maybe that was because there was a block in front of it. There's already 12 blocks here. So if you break these two, because they're cobblestone. There we go. Does that work now? Yes. Here. That should work now. Except sometimes it's cobblestone. So you might need to find a way to fix that. Because if it's cobblestone, it doesn't work. So you need to have bone meal in here, otherwise, because it needs to have always something to push, otherwise it'll sometimes... I know. I'm gonna get some bone meal. Okay. So once you get some bone meal, it should work a bit better. Okay, I'll just show you. I have a bit to sleep. Yeah, I, I do as well. Um, I will put my water bucket away just in case something happens. So if we chuck bone meal into here... When is it supposed to power the bone meal? Yeah, but this piston is supposed to extend. Yeah, but, but the... the Now if we just mine out, uh, if we mine out the cobblestone, um, it should start working. I just need to get out of this. Uh, uh, hang on. There we go. It should work. Thanks for your help. There's a little bit of cobblestone here. We just need to get rid of that. And uh, there's. I need to stay might blow this up. You might need to add more hoppers because, like, some of this is not picking it up. Put it where? Yeah, add add hoppers all along here. I got some from. I just yep. came back from the uh, gold farm, so. There we go. That's being taken. Then, uh, there's a bit of cobblestone in here, so I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, there's, a, there's a bit of stone in here. Oh, that would be there's some cobblestone, I found the cobblestone. Okay, it should be working now. You just need to add repeaters in front of the, uh, the pistons, because I'm pretty sure they can't extend for a one, a really quick signal. And the only problem is that it sometimes makes cobblestone when it can't push the end ones. And uh, the trapdoors might not be closed for long enough. Yeah. 
the trap doors, I think, so it's right here. Let's see, what's it powered by? Ah, there we go. There we go, I fixed it. I fixed it. There was one piece of redstone dust missing. Now, there should be bone meal in here again. Let's go! <laughs> Fully functioning. Uh, Fine. yes. Okay. So that should be producing bone meal. And enough to fill this. Up to a wood barn. Okay, so I did the interior. My inventory is full. Uh, I did the interior and uh, I didn't have time to do it. Oh my god. Let's quickly chuck this out. I don't like them. Okay. Anyway, I did the interior. I didn't do the entrance. I will do that in the next episode, I promise. But I'm sorry because I, I, we're kind of out of video time for today. Oh, I should probably get this vine out of the way. It's kind of triggering me. Um, but here, yeah, I'll show you the interior for now. And next episode, we get, we'll work on the exterior. Um, we'll change out these walls because I didn't. It was a pain because like the lava I had to change it around. I probably will switch that out for stone bricks eventually. Not now though. Anyway, um, yeah. So thanks for watching. And this is uh, I kind of just did this interior. Um, so I kind of just did this interior just so it looks not. Oh my god! Does it have to be on those sides? Can mobs can, can mobs can't spawn on leaves, right? So I shouldn't shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's done. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, pl please make sure to subscribe, like, and um, hang on. Is that stone? F stone? Or wait, stone? Have, have buttons always been like this? There's a there's an obvious gap there, right? There's no obvious gap there. It's flo I'm not even holding it. Like if you look on the other side, my golden character is actually touching my hand by like half a pixel. But if you look at the stone button, it's not. It's floating. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's just that's trippy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button and smash subscribe. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Um, bye. And also, uh, yeah, at, like I mentioned, every single video. There's a Christmas event in my Discord. Head down there, click on the link in the, descri in the description, go and go over there, participate. It's pretty epic. You get Discord Nitro, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye!